Drawing makes me feel um, human, and I think to feel human is to feel special. The more that I do it, the more I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing, I guess. I find purpose and happiness, and then I can hopefully shed light and joy to others. Everyone needs a dose of inspiration to get through the tough times and even to enjoy the good times. by Edward, who saves his serve, and it's Chang now at 4-2. Oh! A game from the championship, Michael Chang. The youngest ever to win the championship of France, 17-year-old Michael Chang of the United States. Has won. Michael Chang won the French Open at age 17. He continued to be a superstar throughout his career, and he was ranked number two in the world at one point. And he was from Hoboken. So we decided to memorialize the 30th anniversary of his French Open victory with a huge, epic mural 40 feet high, my largest mural to date, first one using a hydraulic lift for. A title no American man could capture in two times his age. To, to kind of feel the, the part, <laughs> you gotta play the part. So. <laughs> I don't wanna mess up the hands, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I've never driven a uh, lift before. I've never rented a 40 foot lift before never operated a 40 foot lift before and I'm scared of heights. Oh my god, I'm scared of heights. Big challenge with this was just coordinating the space a bit. It's on a tennis court, so I had to work with the county and the city to orchestrate getting the fence peeled back. Uh, uh, these tennis courts, do these lights work? But there is wire coming through this pipe. So we're trying to put the lift onto the tennis court and running through the actual fence were wires. The suspense is a uh, part of the fun. We'll get it back as far as we can, then I'll reset the ramps, and if I gotta cut them to make them shorter, I see. we'll cut it and make it shorter. Go forward that way? Oh my god, it's everybody! Kiss everybody! So we got the lift on, and then immediately it was time to give everybody hugs for the effort. I swear I Oh yeah, good work. Katie will be done tomorrow. And it was the best feeling in the world. So a big challenge is time. I have to do a 40 foot mural in under four days. It needs to be done before the tennis courts are paid. So that's a big challenge. So we're all set to go, and then we go outside and bummer, <laughs> the uh, rain decided to pour. Murals and rain, yeah, that's not really a good match. That's a tennis joke. <laughs> Today we're gonna prepare. We're gonna check the colors, make sure I have all the supplies, go through all the stencils and make sure that all of the uh, lines are drawn and all of the colors are marked and uh, that way we can uh, get a great start tomorrow. So you'll be able to see the mural from back here. All right, let's get it. It is six o'clock now. It's 30% chance it's seven. And at eight o'clock, it's 100%. So in two hours, it's gonna rain, so it's really not worth it to paint right now. But if we could get all the grid marks, right? Yeah. So what my buddy Matt over there is doing is he's breaking the wall down into a grid, and then I'm going to basically paint what is in each grid. The challenge is to stay inside the lines, but I don't really like to do that, so I kinda 
you know, make my own abstraction from this photograph. And, you know, when you're here, you'll be able to feel like you're actually serving to him and playing him. I'm just giving us a reference point for where we're going to start because there's a big space so we got to know where we're beginning so that we can go straight up and build off the center. That is a big wall. The back end of the heel. So this is all the way 104. Okay. Oh, sweet. So nice. I picked it up a little bit, like a foot off. Yeah, yeah, and that's I think smart. I actually moved it a foot over. Nice. But that way this line, see You're this line man. coming up there? Yes. We're just gonna use this as oh, our reference. Oh, that's great. And we know that that's so level and goes, straight. That's cool, because his face is gonna pop off the, it's yeah. the close, great thinking. I love it. Nice. Tomorrow, 7.30 in the morning, we're going up, 40 feet in the air. <laughs> Very windy, it's about 20 miles an hour, and Ricky's gonna go 40 feet up on the scissor lift. We'll be riding the wave. Every project always has its inherent challenges, and you know, that's why you do it, to persevere and overcome them. Wind's not a good factor, especially when you're up in this scissor lift. And uh, you know, if it's a little shaky, I'll come back down and we'll figure it out another time. Live to fight another day. I still haven't overcome my fear of heights, <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. All right, so I need numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, four, four, five. You got two nine. Why don't you start at five? Start it. So the the one that's drawn, and not go above it. was the bottom. Probably a little off, but I'm just gonna go back and fix it up later, you know? I mean, I don't think we went higher than that, Matt. Okay. I mean, I'm gonna have to fix his face and everything, but, you know, with the cuts, I might even cut it out of like a plastic so that it's like, it doesn't Not flimsy and I could just, shh, shh, yeah. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But at least it's up there. You know? It's uh, It's a very tall mural. So if uh, we're a little off, we can just make connections as we get lower down. We're working on something in the studio. Nobody gets to see it until it's done. Now you're out there for everybody to see your mistakes until it's fixed, I guess. But the surface isn't really taking to the stencil, and uh, it's too gritty, and the glue's not strong enough, and the wind is here. So there's really nothing working on our side. So my process with all of the art that I make is through hand cutting stencils. I take a piece of paper, I take an X-Acto blade, and I imagine a shape uh, as part of an overall scene, and I cut out all of the shapes of color, and then I uh, push paint through the paper stencil so that I can create layers of color. Now, I do the same with a mural. You know, my imagination never turns off. So when I look at things, they kind of like dance and uh, have this energy to them in shapes and color. So the stencil allows those to kind of have gravity and hold in place, and then I can abstract from them. So the glue's not sticking. So we've just been becoming like a human octopus with a bunch of hands, and my wife joined in. So now we have six hands per stencil. And as long as you hold it down, we can paint you know, art is the uh, end result of a beautiful struggle, so uh, 
We're definitely struggling today and hopefully uh, some beauty comes out of it. We still have a lot of daylight left. It's uh, four o'clock. I think we got another like three hours. The cops came actually at about 10 o'clock and they were like, what are you doing here? And uh, we were like painting a mural and they were like, all right, sounds good. <laughs> Keep up the good work. <laughs> I'm really just gonna work on the face right now because it's a beaut of a day. Have it, you know, a couple of challenges. Here's the rainbow before it changes. Uh, I see some leaves flickering, it kind of scares me. So I'm gonna jump up on the lift, get that face right, get the shoulder down, work some of the shirt. Finish that thigh, work that sneaker. While I was up there working on the face, I kind of just blacked out. I kind of just thought about nothing and just did. Kind of went on autopilot. Didn't worry, wasn't scared, wasn't, you know, looking down, but just, just, just doing it. But I'm really pumped. I'm having fun, I kind of want to paint again. Once I got the eyes and the forehead, I got such a surge of, you know, excitement and adrenaline. And that was such a freeing moment to me. This uh, art to me is freedom. Freedom to, to do what you want, you know, in a peaceful way. Art is communication to me. Um, it's how I think. I think in visuals. So talking is frustrating sometimes because, you know, I don't really know the words to say, but I know the picture of what I'm talking about. <laughs> you know, art is a form of communication that's, that's uh, I guess, elevated. Uh, it's not just about pretty pictures, but it's about ideals of beauty and connection. I just need another triangle. I want more attention to the fact that he's about to hit this tennis ball, so I want to add another triangle which adds angles towards the racket, towards the action. Oh shit, that looks tight! Oh, how did that happen? I blacked out! Blacked out, man! When you see this mural from all the way on the other side of Columbus Park, I want you to feel like you're interacting with it. Michael Chang is serving to you. The championship trophy of France, the Michael Chang.